Now this piece of content is a little different than what I normally post on this channel and you'll see why in a second. Please stick around. I'm Woody Huffines. I'm the nurse to go in McKinney in Frisco, Texas and this is Tech for the Untechnical. There was a technological shift in 2002 that made a huge difference in the lives of especially young people. And that's the MMS series, their Multimedia Message System. Prior to 2002, you couldn't send pictures or videos by text message. After 2002, you could. Now, if you were born before, let's say, 1990, this wasn't something that you had to deal with in your formative years. And Lord knows, I'm glad there weren't smartphones around when I was 14 or 15 or 16 years old. I've talked to a friend of mine I've known since I was 16 today, and I'm just saying that there's no video evidence of some of the things that we did when we were 15, 16, 17 years old because cell phones didn't exist, and boy, am I thankful they didn't. Children today have a special set of challenges with some of the technology that is very much an important part of their lives. And that technology sometimes can lead to unfortunate circumstances if they make decisions through peer pressure or excitement that could cause long-term harm. And that long-term harm includes bullying, extortion, blackmail, and in some cases, tragically suicide. If you're peer pressured as a young person into taking a picture on your cell phone and sending it to someone, that's something that can hang over your head for a very long time. And having kids myself, it's something that I have been concerned about as a parent. If you have any influence over young people in your life, if you have daughters and sons, if you have nephews and nieces, if you're a Sunday school teacher or a scout leader, this is an important concept that you need to get across to the kids that you have influence over, and that is that even if you do make that mistake, that there is a solution now that's coming onto the horizon that will keep those pictures that you may have made in a moment of weakness from proliferating and haunting you for the long term. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has a new website up, and it's called Take It Down. It's takeitdown.ncmec.org. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children noticed that up to this point, if you had pictures out there that you were concerned about or you wanted to complain about extortion or blackmail because you'd taken some pictures that you shouldn't as a kid, it was not an anonymous call. And that means that if there were pictures out there that you didn't want out there, you had to fess up to them and talk to people about them and it's probably really, if you're already embarrassed, a really hard thing to do. So the NCMEC, and here's the link to the website that I'll be talking about below and I'll leave it up for the video, has a website now that allows young people to anonymously submit digital hashes of pictures that they don't want posted all over the world. And Meta, which is Facebook and Instagram, uh, Pornhub, there are a number of companies that are signing up to pay attention to this data as this data gets developed. And let's talk about what that data is. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has a database of image hashes or video hashes. And these are digital signatures, like a fingerprint of the file. So if that uh, fingerprint exists in their database and someone tries to post a picture or a video that matches that fingerprint, they can shut it down with the media companies that they work with. Facebook, as I said, Pornhub, there's a wide variety of um, service providers that are working with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to make sure that pictures that could be used for exploitation aren't proliferated and posted over and over again. Now, again, I'm not making any judgments. I'm glad that I didn't have the opportunity to do that. But with peer pressure and other things, it's not uncommon that a young person will take a picture that they don't want posted all over the world. And this is what the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children have done is they've made a process by which you can submit hashes for those pictures securely and the picture never leaves the phone. And that's the important point. That's the technical part of this. If you have the opportunity to talk to some young people in your life, you can assure them that if they've got a picture on their phone or they take a picture on their phone and they don't want it reposted on social media, they have the ability to send a hash to this database so that Facebook and Instagram and other places can compare the pictures that are posted to that database and stop a picture from being posted if it's on uh, that database or it's in that database. 
And that's the important point here, is that it is anonymous, and if you send a picture to take it down at takeitdown.nmec.org, it is not going to show up any place but on your phone. It's just the hash of the digital signature that's up. This is important to me because I have kids, and my kids probably did some things that they shouldn't. And I think it's important that we let kids know that they have some recourse if they make a mistake that doesn't expose their name, it doesn't expose their picture, it doesn't expose anything about them. It just gives us a technological way to make sure that a picture that they are ashamed that they took doesn't show up on Instagram or Facebook. Visit the website below, it'll be in the description as well. And they explain this entire process a lot more fully than I can, and they answer a lot of questions that is beyond the scope of this video. It's important to me that if you have young people in your life that you know that this program exists, and that you have the ability to mention to the young people in your lives, nephews, nieces, sons, daughters, Sunday school kids, that this is an option that they have so that all of the bad things that can happen from making what is in the grand scheme of things a pretty small mistake doesn't end up in bullying or extortion or blackmail or tragically suicide. I'm Woody Huffines. I own the Nerds to Go in McKinney in Frisco, Texas. I would appreciate if you would share this video with others in your circle that might have influence over kids and can have the discussion that if they make a mistake, there's a way out of that mistake that doesn't involve something tragic in the end. If you have any questions about this, please give us a call and for sure visit the website that I've had across the bottom of this or the one that's in the description and go get smart about it yourself so that you can help the young people in your lives. Again, please share this with other influencers in the lives of young people. I think this is an incredibly important program and one that as adults, we have a responsibility to share with our kids. Holler if you have any questions and thank you for listening.